Hi guys, welcome to the Humanity. My name is Ever, and in today's coloring adventure, we are talking about project books. Uh, disclaimer, they are leaf blowing outside of my apartment, and hopefully it will not be too distracting. I know it's sort of in the distance at the moment. Uh, they've already gone by my windows, so hopefully it won't get picked up too much. But, so, I want to talk about a very exciting project that I started last year that I actually picked up and finished a page in today. So, I want to start with the origin. And the origin actually goes back to a different book. So last year around Halloween, I had a buddy color with Tammy Colors 2. And we did this page out of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And since it was Halloween, I decided I wanted to do this chandelier kind of spooky and goth-like. So I did it in, you know, all these darker colors. And I have the... Um, this is actually a cookie stencil that I got on Etsy, and this is, if, you, if you're if you a Disney person, you may recognize this. Um, this is the wallpaper from the Haunted Mansion, and so I put that in the background. And I did this page, and I thought it would be so cool to do a whole book of something in this sort of style, in sort of like a dark gothic style. And then it hit me, Secret Garden. And I went, ooh, I should do a whole, like I should do the entire Secret Garden, like dark and gothic. So I came up with Poison Secret Garden. So I, I had already, you know, gone and done most, not, I've done some of my first copy of Secret Garden, not a whole lot. So it wasn't like I could just jump into that one. I had to get another copy. So here's a story. So I go to oh, secondsale.com and I get a copy for like $5. I was like, oh, this is great. It's $5. Hopefully there's no pages colored in it. Even if there is, I could probably go over it, kind of keep with the theme, maybe just black some stuff out and it'll work. So I get this copy of Secret Garden and it is trash. It is, the cover is like this, but the paper inside is printer paper. It is not the usual Johanna Basford paper and I got really frustrated. I was like, well, hell, I can't, I tried to color the nameplate page on it and it just turned, it was awful and I was really upset. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to have to spend the money and it was like $10 and get an actual like copy copy of Secret Garden. So here it is, the copy copy I got. So I don't really have, I don't have like every page planned out or I don't have a set of like I don't have a palette set. Generally, I'm using my Black Widows um, for most of this because a lot of the colors in the Black Widow pencils, here comes the leaf blower, um, do have that sort of quality that I'm looking for to do this. And I've done a couple pages in it, and I just want to show you kind of the idea of what I'm doing. I have paper in here because I used uh, watercolor sticks, gel sticks on this, so... This is the nameplate page for the Secret Garden, excuse me, the Poison Secret Garden uh, project. Um, that's kind of the idea that I want to do, sort of the thing I want to do. Um, and then this is the other page I did. And this one, again, I use the gel sticks on it, which is why I have the wax paper, but I have like the death's head moth right there. You know, and everything is kind of dark and there's like a miasma of, of green around it. And then I think I just did one other page, which I did in gel pens just to kind of play around with how that would work. Because gel pens work really well in these books. So I did this one, which definitely goes with the whole theme of like the dark and gothic poison garden type of thing. So I just kind of wanted to share this idea because I got inspired to pick it up again. I'll show you the one I finished today. No, really. I'll show you the one I finished today. Here it is. Um, this is the one I finished today. I had started it. I had just had the leaves and berries done before. So I finished the flowers and all the moths and butterflies around it. And the moths and butterflies, I did um, a light black base before I put color over top of it to sort of give it kind of a muted dark color. And then I started working on another piece where it's just one of the big 
Some of these are going to be challenging. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I don't know how I'm going to pull off the whole gothic poison aspect of it. Like with the topiaries, I kind of have an idea. I'll probably do like um, maybe cobwebs on them or something. Um, but you know, this is a bright and cheery, happy book. And I'm turning it into, you know, this I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, swipe an idea from Pixie at Pixie's Project and make these skeleton fish, which I think is going to be really cute and cool. I'm looking forward to doing more in this book. I mean, this is obviously a long way from being finished. Um, this is going to take much time because I have other things going on and other projects I'm doing and other... You know, I've got the books to finish projects, and I just worked on this earlier. Um, but there are going to be some serious challenges with keeping up with this theme and making it look, you know, dark and, and gothic and spooky or whatever. But I'm really excited about it. Um, I think this is one of the more ambitious things I've ever tried when it comes to coloring. And I'm hoping to sort of do more ambitious things. Uh, I actually have a picture that I did in uh, Jewelry Box that I did um, with just a rainbow pencil. And the rainbow pencil only had four colors to it. Uh, there are actually rainbow pencils out there with seven colors in them. So I'm going to order a set of those seven colored rainbow colored pencils. And then I'm going to... Uh, get just a book, a brand new book, untouched, unblemished, brand new book. Here, I'm just sitting here flipping through this, you guys, I'm sorry. But I did like a, one of these type of pictures, and I just did all the background in a gray, like I did all this in like gray colored pencil. I can't find it right now, but that's how I did this one. Um, but I do have another project I want to do with the rainbow pencils where I'm just going to get a book. I haven't decided what book. I'm probably going to take one of my favorite books that I have or maybe just see what's on my wish list and pick that book out. And then that whole book will done be done in just entirely the rainbow pencil, which if you've, you've never seen it. Hold on. Maybe I can get to it real quick. One minute. I'm just right here next door to my coloring stuff so I can show you what it is. I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with this picture, to be honest, because it didn't turn out great. I think it'll be better when I have the seven colors to work with rather than the four. Um, but the concept is cool, and I'm just going to leave it at that. But this is what it looks like. This is just with the rainbow pencil with just the four colors. I think the, it looks best up there with the perfume spray and the, and the stars. So I'm going to take a book. Um, again, I'm not sure which book, and I'm going to do just the whole thing like this with the rainbow pencil. So that's another project that'll probably start this year sometime. I'm just not sure when. So yeah, I just wanted to share uh, my little excitement with the Poison Secret Garden and to say that those of you that know about this from um, last year when I talked about it on a video and when I posted about it on Instagram, I just want to say, hey, the Poison Secret Garden is back. I'm working on it again. I've got one page done and I'll probably get another page done today. I'm going to go back and work on that one I grayed out. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. If you liked this video and you know, like my content, I'd appreciate a little thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, here is your chance. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.